Hey guys, welcome back to VBA to Z. I'm Lung Pamai and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to export PowerPoint slides to an image or a video in full HD and other resolutions. PowerPoint is super easy to use and flexible. I normally use it to design UI background, thumbnail for uh, YouTube or Facebook and also for um, presentations. Normally, after I design um, this in PowerPoint, I export using a small VBA program, which I'll also be covering in this short video. As always, project files and source codes are free for download and use. The only request from you is to support my channel so I can keep sharing all these useful videos. So before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the samples I've put together. So this image is exported in HD format and uh, here this is in the normal normal resolution okay so you can see here in this portion and down here you see like the image have degraded and there is some you know like see the blurriness and here which is not the case is another one so here you can see like the blurriness is you know come in in the normal one and here in the hd the clarity much much better yeah and if we go to the folder from where we're doing the comparison so here you can see like the hd is exported in you know like 4000 into 200 250 and then this is normal resolution okay the dimension let me open uh, a blank powerpoint let's say that this is, this is my powerpoint and i want to export this uh, in full hd and other resolutions you go to file um, options and then click on advanced so as you scroll down you'll see under um, image size and quality make sure to check this box do not compress image and file and from the default resolution, you select whatever is the highest. I'll select high fidelity, but in case you do not see this, just select whatever is the highest for you, okay? And then just click on OK. Okay, now to update the system registry from the backend, we'll have to bring up the registry uh, editor. So for that, from your keyboard, press Windows, uh, and then type in Run, and click on Run. So this dialog is going to come up. So from here, you type in REGEDIT. So this is basically uh, registry editor okay and then you click on ok and confirm yes so from here you'll have to navigate uh, from the current user node you'll have to go to software and look for Microsoft yeah and then look for office expand further to you you know like the version that you have so minus 16.0 and within this you look for PowerPoint and look for options here like this okay so you'll see all the you know like uh, current you know like um, all the keys that are you know like currently existing right click on this particular you know like page like this new and select the word 32 bit value okay and here you'll have to put in the name export bitmap resolution okay so export bitmap resolution like this okay and just hit enter okay so once you're done with that, right click on that, click on modify. And then here you'll see uh, select decimal and then you'll put in uh, 300. Okay, this represents the, uh, the DPI. Okay. So once you're done with this, you just click on close like this. Okay, so now let's try to export this manually first. Um, changing the type to PNG and save as uh, in the same folder and we'll call this sample.png just this particular slide and if i go back here you'll see that um, the dimension of this file now is you know like default to you know like 4000 into 2250 okay so it's working uh we'll now we'll write a small code to export this particular slide in uh you know like using a uh, program okay so for that, I'll press Alt F11, insert a new module. Okay, so let's call this export um, slide. Okay, so first we'll declare the slide. And then the dimension. So the width in pixels and then the height. Okay, so the good thing about exporting it from program is that you can define exactly at what dimension you need. So for example, like uh, for Facebook, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's uh, 1024 by 768. That is the best, you know, like uh, uh, dimension to display on Facebook. And for YouTube, it's 1280 by 768. Okay. So let's say that I'm doing this for YouTube. I will specify that this is 1280. 
and then the height is going to be 768 like this okay so we can just say um, set slide equal to um, active presentation and then slides so let's say that we want to export this slide so demonstration okay and now we set up the slide then we can say export and then here we'll specify the path okay and then this is where you specify um, first you specify the width and then you specify the height okay like this so let's say that we want to export it here now we can specify dynamically to a slide name like this okay and then you specify the type okay so let's say that we want to export it as uh, jpz like this okay so you specify in this manner and then once you're done we'll just clear the memory like this so let's give it a try So here we have defined this dimension, we are expecting that the output will have that dimension, okay? So here's the slide, and this is the same dimension we specified, and this is in JPZ, okay? So I, I open this, the quality is perfect, okay? Let's say that you have to export this for all the slides, so you can do, I'll just replicate this. Let's call this export all slides. Now we'll say um, for each slide in you know active presentation like this, and now you know like we'll just follow the same pattern of this in this similar manner. So if you run this now, it's going to loop through all the slides and export this in this dimension with the name of the slide, okay? So to demonstrate this, I'll create a new folder. Let's call this new. Let's try to run this. Just for demonstration, I'm going to make this to something else. Let's say that we have more slides. Let me save this in micro enabled. Something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try. Complete it. So here you see this exported in the same dimension that you specified. Okay. Uh, now let's say that you want to export this uh you know like in whatever slide you're currently in. Let's say that you are in this particular slide and you don't you want it to dynamically pick it up. So instead of one, you can also specify, uh, you know, like the dynamic handler for that. Okay. So for that, you can um, try to do this. First, it's going to be active window dot selection, and then slide range, and then here you have the slide index. So this is going to give us two, where whichever slide you're in. So it says we're in two. Let's try to check this. So now it says we're in one and should be three now. Sorry. So okay. So instead of this one, you can specify it like this as well. So in whatever slide you're in, it will export that particular slide. Okay. Let's try now. I'll place my cursor in this slide and I'm gonna run this. Call this current slide okay so you get the idea now now let me try to export this in a um, different name okay so it is a test prefix to it 
okay so this is the one we exported now now if you want to export uh, all your slides as video you can also do that manually too uh, by going to export and then click on create video here you'll see you know like um, defined resolutions okay uh, or we can write a small code as well for that let's call this uh, export to video something like this so you can you know like directly export this instead of the slide we'll create this uh, create video so the presentation create video here you'll specify the file okay so let's call this uh, sample video dot mp4 something like this so here user timing and narration you can set this uh, you know like you can just skip it or you can set this to true and then here you can also default slide duration you can specify you know like default value is 5 so you can just uh, make it 5 and here for the vertical resolution uh, the default is 750 so if you want it to be full HD you can just do 1080 and then frame per second is 30 here if you want it to be you know, like um, other frames uh, you know like uh, you can specify that and then the quality could be let's say 100 okay so now if I export this we'll expect a video in this folder okay so let's try to run this so it's running at the background you can see it's exporting it Okay, so it has successfully exported. Here's the video. Let me open it. So guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. If you find the video informative, please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.